at what time did HSL first approach the town? That agreement was done in February. Then COVID hit. And the hotel industry was decimated. We're talking about going from near 100% occupancy down to 2 to 3% occupancy. And this was worldwide. This wasn't the Hilton because of poor management or something. All conventions stopped, travel stopped, quarantines were in place. At what point did they come to the town and say, we're having financial difficulties. We don't think we can afford to take over the responsibility of the golf course because of COVID. Mr. Mayor, uh, Council Member Solomon, the initial notification we got from HSL was, as I recall, sometime in late April that they were struggling <clears throat> and um, uh, that they were not certain that they would be able to consummate the, the lease arrangement as of October 1st. And a, a, a statement was made that HSL said golf was not an option, but it was my understanding they said it wasn't an option and that they simply couldn't afford it. They couldn't afford even the $10,000 a year lease payment or even if given to them free that their business had dropped 97% and they were laying off employees and staff that it looked like, and it still looks like it's several years before they can expect any type of recovery. So. Was that correct as far as their comment? It wasn't that golf wasn't viable. It was that they had no financial resources to take on any type of expense? Mr. Mayor, Council Member Solomon, yes, I think that accurately describes their reason for um, not being able to or notifying us of that was simply their financial inability to do so. They were aware that operating the golf course would require a subsidy. And so they were uh, obviously exploring all of the potential options to exercise their lease. 